The story begins with a woman narrating her family's life. This woman is named Eep, and her family is called the Crudes. They are cave people, and their daily lives take place inside a cave. They follow this routine to stay safe, only venturing out for hunting food. They used to have neighbors, but one by one, their neighboring families met unfortunate ends. The Gort family was crushed by a marmot. The Hork family was eaten by a snake. The Air family was bitten by a mosquito. And the Throg family succumbed to the flu. The Crudes family has managed to survive because their father is very strong and strictly adheres to rules that prohibit anything fun. Going out at night is bad. Basically anything fun is bad. Welcome to their lives which are about to change because they are unaware of the impending destruction of their world. The story shifts to show someone coming out of the cave and scaring away the animals around them. This man is the head of the family named Grug, followed by his first daughter named Eep, their little daughter named Sandy, their son named Thunk, his wife named Uga, and finally, their old but energetic grandmother, unlike other grandmothers. They are getting ready to hunt for food in a formation guided by their father. They are the Crude's family. On their journey, they reach a place to find eggs. The father instructs them on how to get the eggs. Color in the air. Thunk, Grog's son, steps forward and successfully gets the egg. Ha! Way to go! Take it to the cave! Unfortunately, the mother pushes him and takes the egg back. Then, Sandy is released with lightning speed and manages to approach the mother. Other animals try to take the egg, and it ends up being snatched by a fast-running animal there. They face a new problem as a cat, like Creature Awakens, due to the commotion. <gasps> Grug throws all his family on the back of an elephant, like Creature, to save the egg. <laughs> Finally, they all reach the entrance of the cave. Grug and Eep bring the elephant to an abrupt stop, causing it to crash into a rock and catapult them deep into the cave. Fortunately, they managed to escape. Unfortunately, Thunk, clumsy, dropped the eggs, and they were forced to divide them among themselves. Grug instructs his family to enter the cave, except for Eep who hates the cave. Eep climbs a cliff to follow the sunlight. And upon hearing a sound, starts searching for the source. Grug, who is outside, shouts for her to come down. But suddenly, the predator creature reappears and approaches Eep. Luckily, they manage to get inside the cave just in time. Grug, angry at Eep, tells a story that seems to criticize her. After everyone falls asleep, only Eep remains awake, which saddens her father. That night, Eep wakes up and sees a light. She is curious and follows it until she finds scattered sparks of fire. <laughs> Unaware that someone is watching her from behind with a mask, Startled, Eep attacks the person, and when the mask is removed, she discovers that he is a human like them. This man is named Guy. Guy invites Eep to go to the mountains with him and explains that their world is about to be destroyed and they need to find a safe place. However, Eep refuses to go with Guy. Guy gives her a seashell that can call him. Thank you. 
Huh? Grug arrives to pick her up, and they return to the cave as the sun rises. Near the cave, the entire family gathers, worried about Eep. She explains that she met a man who initially looked like an animal, but turned out to be like them. He also gave her a seashell to call him, but when Eep blew it, her family destroyed it, as her father's rules prohibited anything that might endanger them. What is wrong with you? It was dangerous. <laughs> Suddenly, the ground starts to crack, and cliffs begin to crumble. Grug immediately tells everyone to get into the cave. In a panic, they all run among the falling rocks. Grug, who sees a falling cliff, saves and protects his family. Grug is very saddened because their home is now destroyed. As they climb to the edge of a cliff, they see a new world revealed as the rocks create an opening in the cliff behind them. Suddenly, a predatory cat approaches them, and Grug forces them all to jump. Upon landing... Just go! Just go! Go! go. <laughs> they are all amazed by the new landscape. They slowly walk to find a new cave following Grug's directions until they encounter a group of monkeys. Wait. Grug tries to scare them away with mockery. But the monkeys look at him blankly. One of the monkeys slaps Grug, followed by another slap from another monkey. Suddenly, the monkeys run away because a predatory cat from the land approaches, causing the Crude's family to panic. Grug tries to throw a rock at him but fails. Bruh. They climbed a tree, which turned out to be the leg of a giant animal, and they tried to enter the cave and it turned out to be a whale's mouth. And the cat continued to chase them. However, as night fell, all the animals began to hide and retreat. Then, small birds emerge from the ground and fly away, forming large flocks. The birds quickly devour larger animals. The Croods, witnessing this, sought refuge. Eep then comes out and makes a trumpet out of the bones to summon Guy. Guy overhears it and quickly runs, creating a fire which eventually saves them all. Instead of being grateful, Grug scares Guy, and Guy warns Eep to watch out for the cave people. Bruh. Eep tells Guy that they are his family. They all admire the fire created by Guy, but Grug warns them not to get too close to the fire because it is a new thing that could potentially harm them. Inadvertently, a fire fell on Thunk's clothes, causing panic and burning the entire area. Please, I'm only nine. Ah, they're biting me. Even Eep's grandmother managed to light corn there, pushing all family members away. Finally, the corn turns into fireworks, then turns into a rain of popcorn. Still alive! On the other hand, Guy tried to escape, but was stopped by Eep, who felt she needed him. Grug initially disagreed, but eventually, he agreed to take Guy with them to search for a cave. Reluctantly, Guy had to use a stick for support. Here, Guy said he wanted to go to the mountain to continue his life because the world was going to end. Grug disagreed, saying the mountain was too far. However, when he turned around, he saw the ground cracking. Finally, Grug agreed to go to the mountain. Ask me why. Just a hunch. We'll become closer as a family. 
They all set out on their journey and made a lot of noise for the animals along the way. Due to the long journey, everyone was starving, including Sandy. Sandy, who was hungry, tried to eat Thunk, but fortunately, Grug pointed out some eggs for them to eat. Finally, they went hunting for eggs. Stay away from me! No, seriously, what are they doing? You've got a ton of eggs! Just make another egg! Ah! <laughs> when they failed to get any eggs, they resorted to eating scorpions. But Grandma was still hungry and even tried to eat her own granddaughter. Meanwhile, Guy tried to teach Eep how to hunt. They started making traps, but unfortunately, the bird they were trying to catch didn't fall for it. I know that! Where's Eep? Instead, the bird chased Eep and eventually stepped on the trap, becoming roast chicken. The Crude's family ate everything greedily, and Eep even asked, Is there anything left? Hearing this, Guy was shocked, and Grug tried to tell the same old story with the inevitable ending of death. Destroyed, and everyone had to go on this long, sucky walk and die. <laughs> then, Guy took his turn to tell a happy story, leaving everyone in awe except for Grug, who looked Going jealous of Guy. And sleep. <laughs> Moving on to the next morning, and Guy gets stuck in a tree branch, almost falling. They all continue on their way, and Guy tries to escape with Eep's help. Eep hits Thunk, and Guy is thrown from Grug's grasp. <coughs> Grug tries to chase him, but the ground is barbed, except for Guy who is footwear. Grug tries to give chase, accidentally releasing a tree branch, allowing Guy to escape and hide. Ow. Ow. In a flash, he returned because he was sorry for the crudes, but he made a pact not to put Guy on the tree branch anymore. Farther. Guy makes footwear for all of them. Good fish, good fish. <laughs> and explains that he has ideas coming from his brain, while the cave people have no such ideas. Eventually, they all continue on their way, facing various obstacles but Guy's ideas helped them overcome them. Eventually, they all started to get closer to Guy. He's bouncing off my booty cheeks, I love the way he rides. I can hardly breathe when he's pumping deep inside. I kiss him on his neck and then he kisses on my pussy. Call him daddy while I holler, man, that boy's so damn good looking. When they reach the maze, they must separate. Guy gives each of them shells to call each other out if something happens, but Grug refuses to part ways. Suddenly, an earthquake strikes, forcing them to separate. Initially scared, they begin to navigate the cliff maze using their wits. Eep and Guy make it to first. Thunk, Eep's grandmother, and mother also manage to get out, except for Grug, who could not find a way out because he had resigned himself to the situation. At night, they all gathered and told stories on a tree. They seemed happy, except for Grug, who started disliking Guy. Uga was also upset with her husband for not liking Guy and not wanting to be with the group. Grug looked very sad as Uga climbed the tree. Suddenly, they saw an explosion, and Guy invited them to climb the tree to see the beautiful stars. They were all amazed by the beauty of the sky and began to trust Guy. They all said they would go with Guy, even Eep's grandma. However, Aga hadn't decided yet because she didn't want to go without Grug. The next day, they all searched for Grug, and he appeared, pretending to be Guy, but with strange ideas. Painting is a thing of the past. Oh, let's do it again. I think I... They continued their journey, and Grug told Ugga that he wanted to be better, just like Guy. They finally arrived at the mountain, 
and experienced another earthquake. Grog tried to lead them into a cave, but they all refused. They wanted to go with Guy. I'm gonna jump on the sun and ride it to tomorrow with God! Sorry, Dad. Causing an argument. Grog, frustrated, started chasing and attacking Guy. <coughs> In the end, they both got stuck in sticky black mud. And Grug kept trying to hit Guy, but the mud made it difficult to reach him. Guy told Grug that his parents had also died in this mud, because getting out of it was very hard. They started opening up to each other and apologizing. Then, Guy came up with an idea to get out of there. Guy made a female cat puppet to lure a male cat to pull them out. Okay. The acting sticks! Hold on! The angry cat tried to attack them, but ended up bouncing away. Suddenly, another earthquake occurred. They continued their journey until they reached a gap between the mountains. We can ride it to tomorrow! Another quake created a gap, preventing them from crossing to the other side. They decided to search for a cave as they felt it was no longer safe. Grug saw a light from the other side and felt that he didn't want to hide anymore. They wanted to follow the light. Someone said they had no way to do it, but Grug felt he had the power. Grug decided to throw Guy first, and it worked. One by one, he threw his family members across. Another quake hit. Grug ran and reached a cave. He managed to light a fire there and started drawing his entire family. Suddenly, there was a rumbling, and a predatory cat appeared right behind him, startling him. Shortly after, another quake sounded. Surprisingly, both of them wanted the fire to stay alive. The cat got scared and started acting affectionate towards Grug. Then, they heard a conch shell horn, thinking their family was in danger. They wondered how to get there and had an idea. Grug took a bone covered in sticky mud and used it to bait the predatory bird by holding the fire. Run! Then he got into the bone and the plan worked, allowing them to fly. Grug also saved the animals he encountered along the way. Suddenly, the bone got stuck and the fire spray was right behind them. Due to the explosion, a lot of smoke and fog emerged. Eep tried to blow the conch while crying, hoping her father would be safe, joined by the others. Amidst the thick fog, they heard Grug's voice and saw the light. Eventually, Grug survived and took some animals with him. Eep hugged her and said that he loved her too. Grug began counting his family members. And eight. Nine. Ah! Turns out. After all, they saw a new land and went there to live and start a happy life by the sea. The movie switches to when they are all getting ready to take photos with Grug's idea, and the movie ends. <laughs> oh, let's do it again. I think I blame.